Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and I do like video games and in today's video we're going to be playing a little bit of Resident Evil 3 on the Xbox Series S. Now the Xbox Series S, X, and PS5 have gotten next-gen updates for Resident Evil 2, 3, Resident Evil 7, and Resident Evil Village already had one. But in today's video we're going to be playing Resident Evil 3. And if you've noticed I'm wearing the same shirt that I was wearing in my last video that is because I'm recording this video immediately after recording that video. And you'll also see the same shirt on me in my Resident Evil Village video because I'm recording that immediately after this. So just to clarify, I've got more than one shirt. But with that being said, let's hop right into Resident Evil 3. Now, Resident Evil 3, unlike Resident Evil 2, I have played a very small amount of it before. Um, and because of that, I will be skipping the, the intro stuff. I think I'm going to stick to the way I stuck to it the first, uh, time around. I'm going to have ray tracing on in the first half of the video. And then in the second half of the video, I'll back out and I'll put on, put off ray tracing, play it in 60 FPS. And I also want to clarify that, um, Resident Evil 2 and 3, I'm not sure about Resident Evil 7 because I don't have Resident Evil 7, but Resident Evil 2 and 3 do feature a high frame rate mode on Xbox Series S. But yeah, this is going to be Resident Evil 3 Remake running on the Xbox Series S. Um, next gen update running on the ray tracing mode. And we start in first person. I completely forgot about that. That's not good. That's not good at all. I don't remember this first part. I remember the part that comes after this, like immediately after this. But then again, I think everyone remembers that part if you played the game. That doesn't look like horrible video game pizza. You know, that looks fine, I guess. Not a bad fridge, not a bad selection, I guess. If you're, I mean, living alone, that's not bad. Look at the ray traced lighting. Looks phenomenal. Looks very good. To be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do here. I completely forget. Why are you leaving your sink running all the time, ma'am? It's just, that's bad. The water bill has got to be insane. The lighting looks really good. I mean, I know it looked good on, um, last generation as well. I mean, they did a really good job with this remake, no matter where you're playing it. And this is, um, the ray tracing mode. It runs ray tracing mode up to 60. It is unlocked. Hello? Um, however, there are frequently dips below that. This is the part I remember. Bam. Getting her shit rocked. Now, what I don't remember is where to run. So this will be interesting. A gun's not gonna do anything to this guy. You're not, you're not hurting this guy. You better get moving. Let's get going. Oh my God. Yeah, that'll stop him. That'll show him who's boss. Climb. Climb, climb. I know what this part is, and I'm still tense. I'm still tense. I know exactly what's going to happen. I'm still tense. Right here, I know what's going to happen. I'm still tense. <laughs> okay. Run. Run. You're crawling far too slow. Better get moving, man. Oh, my God. Oh, damn. I forgot about that part. What I want to know is why does he want her dead so bad? Or she. That could be a she. I don't know. I don't know. I don't... Oh, man. That's, that's bad. Get to the exit. I... I can't help but feel like I'd be running faster in this situation. 
achievement unlocked. All right, now we're loading up that save in performance mode or ray tracing off mode as they're calling it. So we should be getting a completely stable 60. Yep, I can tell right off the bat that is very stable. 60 FPS looking very nice. Reflections and everything still look nice. Obviously, it's not ray tracing, but you know, it does the job. And it does it pretty well. Alright, I'm picking up where we left off. How do I run? Can I not run? Why is she not running? This is urgent. You can see right there where the we're not having ray tracing is kind of kind of kind of messing things up a little bit still looks nice though still looks nice run run get in there that was a terrible throw and I'm back and we've got a weapon let's go oh this guy's getting shot What is he doing on a school bus? Are you all right? Stay back. Don't come any closer. Hey, come on. There's a helicopter. Look at how urgently he's moving away from me. I'm not going out there. With incredible speed. The only safe place is in here. Everyone in this place is slow. I don't get it. I didn't even get to press the button. Oh. Yeah, this game looks great. I think that, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is, like, dynamic resolution anywhere in between 1080p, 1440p with ray tracing off. I could be, I could be wrong about that, but it looks, it looks like 1440p. I'm not entirely sure. I'd be interested to see Digital Foundry's video on this. But it looks like it's definitely not 4K. We can rule that out right away. It is... 1440p, I think. But performance is really, really good. I don't remember this part at all. You better start that car, man. Dude, he's gonna pick this car up and just fling us. I'm not sure why you would drive that right towards him. He, he does not look like he would be phased by getting hit by a car. And look, he's still fine. Not even that explosion hurt him. Oh my god. We should get up. We should get up and run. There you go. All right, so guys, actually, this is Resident Evil 3 running 120 FPS on Xbox Series S. And the way I'm doing it, because um, I thought I couldn't do it actually with my setup, but I actually just plugged in um, an external drive to the Xbox Series S to capture the footage. It's not going to be as high quality as, uh, you know, if I were to use a capture card. But you can still see the frame rate is, is high. It looks very smooth. And that's really the key with this 120 FPS mode. Because the visuals aren't going to be the most insane thing ever. Running 120 FPS on a 299 console. But I do want to confirm that it is on the high frame rate mode. So the ray tracing is off. High frame rate mode is on. And we are now getting 120 FPS smooth gameplay on Resident Evil 3 Remake. Are you kidding me? Fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. And I'm not playing with VRR enabled or free sync or anything. It's 
because this is still plugged in through a capture card, I did find a way to get 120 FPS. But yeah, this is smooth, super smooth, and it looks still looks pretty damn good considering I'm playing on a $300 console. I think I ran the wrong way. Gunpowder. Oh, I remember what that's for. Like, ammo and stuff. I want to get into some type of combat. Just so, just so you can see how it looks. How, how it uh, might feel and whatnot. I think I forgot something back there. Game still looks fantastic. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. Lighting still looks pretty good. A little shimmery. I mean, not aliasing or anything, but like... I, I don't know if you guys can see that right there, that like little puddle looking thing. I'm not sure if that's because there's water there or if it's just the light kind of shimmering. I'm not sure. Either way, the game still looks really nice in this 120 FPS mode. Got some enemies there. Perfect. Didn't miss a shot. Take these guys out and then I think I'll end the video here. Oh, I thought I had him dead. There we go. But yeah, guys, the performance on this is actually surprisingly really good. And without VRR, I'm not noticing any big dips or anything. I mean, unless I'm not looking hard enough, I don't really notice it. Which is surprising, because I certainly thought it would have been very noticeable. And that's not to say it's maintaining a steady 120 FPS. It probably is dipping, but if it is, I'm just not noticing it. So they did a really good job optimizing this. Yeah, guys, the Series S continues to impress. Uh, 60 FPS mode ray tracing off. It's locked 60, or at least it feels like it. 60 FPS with ray tracing on, or up to 60 FPS. Still feels pretty smooth in the segment that, that I played. And um, this 120 FPS mode walking around this little section here, killing these enemies, it felt pretty nice. Very fluid, very responsive, and the lighting still looks great. I mean, the RE engine is just, it's kind of magnificent. Uh, Resident Evil games aren't really my kind of games, but I can't deny that the engine is just very well made. Uh, the game still looks phenomenal, even at 120 FPS, probably sub 1080p. Um, but yeah, three different ways to play this game on the Xbox Series S, and all of them work very well. But that's really all I got in today's video. I want to thank you if you've made it this far in the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.